Dear students of Cavite State University, Welcome to CVSU Open Distance E-Learning. You are watching this presentation because you are part of Cavite State University community. Today, you are to witness the know-hows of how to attend the class using CVSU E-Learning. Access the E-Learning site by using your CVSU email account. Secure CVSU account credentials such as email address and a temporary password upon entering the site. Verify your official CVSU email account first before accessing the e-learning site. Verify by visiting the site mail.google.com. Log in in your Google account. Visit the site elearning.cvsu.edu.ph and click CVSU account button. In here, log in using your official CVSU email account. Upon logging in, verify the enrolled subjects for the semester, since each of the subjects has a corresponding course name in the e-learning account. Set a decent profile picture. In the site, work around. In here, students can view and download files uploaded by the teacher, comment on teacher's post and announcement chat with the teacher and students, take quizzes and other forms of examinations, and upload own assignments and outputs. You go to Google website where you can log in your CVSU email address, and then type in your temporary password. In here, the site will ask for a new password. Once email has been verified, you can now access the CVSU e-learning, which is elearning.cbsu.edu.ph So, how can I access? First, you may use any gadgets you have, like your laptop and cell phone. For those who prefer to use laptop, go to any browser available for Firefox or Chrome. For mobile, use Moodle application. Using your browser, click CVSU account button type in or select your CVSU email address. Then, you now see the e-learning dashboard. Work around. Change your profile picture. Click to edit profile. Update all information needed. Add your decent picture. Click update profile button. In the dashboard, you can now see all enrolled courses. Check each of them. Check each course title. Make sure it fits what you have enrolled in. Reminder, subjects that you are enrolled in should only be displayed on the dashboard. For other concerns and questions, just click in the student's guide for you to know more instructions about the e-learning site. Click any course. On this course, you see all resources or activities uploaded by the teacher for this course. For example, you see the course syllabus uploaded. Click this so you may get to see all the topics under the course. Once you view the syllabus or any file, click the download icon that can be found on the upper right-hand corner of your screen. For assignment, click Assignment. Download the file and make sure you check the deadline of submission of your assignment. Now, click Add Submission Text. You have two choices. Using online text, just encode your assignment in the dialog box. Click Save Changes. Another way is by having your file readily available. In this case, click the File Submission icon and click Save Changes icon. For quizzes, click the quiz you need to take. Once you open it, you can see Attempts allowed to take the quiz, opening date of the quiz, closing time of the quiz, and time limit to. Click Attempt Quiz button. You can see the sets of questions. Carefully enter each of them. You see the progress of your quiz on the right side of your screen. It is called Quiz Navigation. Once done, click Submit All and Finish button. For participant section, you see the participants page where you can see all your classmates. Click on its name and this allows you to chat him or her by clicking message icon. You can also chat your instructor or professor. 
Go to grade section where you view the results, like scores in your assignment, quizzes, and other outputs. In the course site, you can track your progress by ticking the boxes. Now, let us learn how to learn of accessing your account using your mobile phone. Get ready. Pick up your phone and work with me. Learn with me. This time, we need a cell phone application called Moodle. For iOS, go to App Store. For those who are using Android, go to Play Store. Search Moodle application. Its icon has M with graduation hat on top. Click Install. Once installed, open the Moodle application. Then, type in elearning.cbsu.edu.pa. Once you enter this website, you proceed to the login page of the CBSU eLearning login. Click CBSU account. Then, you are now directed to the sign-in page. Type your CBSU email address and type in your temporary password. After that, you are now on the dashboard. To change your profile picture, click the edit icon on your first name initial. You can see new picture. This asks you to upload a photo from your photo album. Select your most recent picture. Click the type home. Click it, then click My Courses. You can now view the courses you are enrolled in. Try to click one course. Visit it, and you now see the uploaded files of your teacher, like the announcement, course syllabus, quizzes, and others. Let us try to open course syllabus. Click course syllabus. Open the file. Now, you view the file. You can enter easily your quizzes using your cell phone. Click attempt quiz button. You can see the sets of questions. Carefully enter each of them. Note that your teacher may have time limit. You see the time on top. Let us try another feature. Click the participants tab. You see the participants page where you can see all your classmates. Click on each name and this allows you to chat him or her by clicking message icon. You can also chat your instructor or professor. Go to grade section where you view the results, like scores in your assignment, quizzes, and other outputs. In the course site, you can track your progress by ticking the boxes. Thank you! eLearning Team hopes that everybody has experienced the convenience of learning anytime, anywhere.